I'm Emily of British Girl Bakes and I'm going to show you how to use sweet stamp letters on buttercream cakes. I love these letters because my handwriting is terrible and these form beautiful fonts that can be painted whatever colour you like and by embossing them into the cake you provide a path for your paintbrush so even if you have shaky hands like mine, the embossed letters guide your paintbrush so that you can paint perfectly neat letters. To start with, make your buttercream. You'll need two and a half cups of unsalted butter or you can use salted butter and just leave the salt out of the recipe. 900 grams of icing sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, half a tablespoon of vanilla extract, and one to two tablespoons of cream or milk. I use this buttercream with a butter and icing sugar base because it crusts when you chill it, unlike meringue-based buttercreams, which makes the sweet stamp letters really effective. To make the buttercream, start by sifting your icing sugar to make sure there are no lumps. Make sure your butter is at room temperature. It should be very soft to the touch, otherwise it will clump together with the icing sugar and make your buttercream lumpy. I take my butter out of the fridge the night before making buttercream so that it has long enough to come to room temperature. You'll need a mixer with a paddle attachment or a handheld mixer with beaters will work, but not whisk attachments because you don't want to incorporate air into the buttercream. Put all of your butter in the mixing bowl but I like to start with only a quarter of the icing sugar, because if you add it all at once, it will fly everywhere when you turn the mixer on. Use the lowest speed to mix the butter and sugar together for about a minute, until all of the sugar is incorporated. Then add the next quarter of the icing sugar. Mix again until it's incorporated, and then the next quarter. Always mix on the lowest speed, because if you increase the speed, you'll get air bubbles in your buttercream, which are tricky to get rid of once you ice the cake. Add the final amount of sugar, mix until it's incorporated, and scrape down to the bottom of the mixing bowl to make sure everything has mixed together properly. Now you can add the vanilla extract, and then to get the right consistency, add milk or cream to make the buttercream less stiff. You want it to be easily spreadable onto your cake, but still thick enough to hold its shape. It's best to add the milk or cream a tablespoon at a time, mixing for a few seconds to incorporate it, and then checking the consistency with a spatula. You want the frosting to stick to your spatula when you lift it up, but with a few taps on the side of the mixing bowl, the frosting should fall off. Also, when you spread it with your spatula, you should leave behind a smooth frosting with no texture or air pockets, which both indicate that the buttercream is too thick and you need a bit more liquid. Now you'll need to ice your cake with a crumb coat and then a final coat of buttercream. Apply the buttercream with an offset spatula to the top and the sides of the cake, or you can pipe it on with a piping bag. Smooth it with an icing smoother, also called a frosting scraper, holding it against the side of the cake and pulling it towards you as you spin the turntable, applying a bit of pressure against the sides of the cake, but mostly just pulling it alongside the cake. Let the crumb coat set, which will take about 15 minutes in the fridge or 30 minutes at room temperature. Then follow the same steps to apply a final coat of frosting. Chill your cake in the fridge for at least one hour to set the buttercream. Buttercream made with butter and icing sugar crusts, which means it develops a firm outer edge, which is perfect for using the sweet stamp letters, but by chilling it, the inner part of the icing gets nice and firm as well, so it doesn't pull off and stick to the letters. Now you need to remove the sweet stamp letters from their tray. I like to do this by wrapping my finger with a ring of sticky tape, with the sticky side facing outwards and then pushing down on the letters I want to use so that they lift up with my finger. You can use a little ball of fondant instead if you prefer. Emboss your cake with the sweet stamp letters, pressing them firmly into the buttercream so that they leave an imprint of about an eighth or a quarter of a centimetre. Not too deep, but enough to leave a visible imprint when you take the letter away. Press on all sides of the letter to make sure every detail is embossed. If you're using the same letter more than once, wipe or rinse it clean after the first time you use it if there is any buttercream stuck to it, otherwise it won't leave a clear imprint when you use it again. After you've lifted your letters out, check the buttercream within the embossed letters on the cake. If it's uneven and jagged in any places, smooth it out with a ball tool or the end of a paintbrush to leave a nice, even surface. Chill your cake again for 10 or 15 minutes so that the embossed surface sets, and meanwhile, choose or prepare your paint. 
You can buy pre-made paints like this one, which is a Sweet Sticks edible art paint, or you can make your own with gold or silver luster dust and just a drop of vodka or lemon extract to make a thick consistency that will cover up the buttercream. You can put the paint in a palette or a bowl or a plate, whatever you have handy. Using your paint and a paintbrush, paint the embossed letters. It's helpful to have different sizes of paintbrush for different parts of the letters, since some parts are thicker than others. I use the sweet stamp brushes, number one for the thicker parts of the letters, and number zero for the thinner parts. Because the letters are embossed deeper than the rest of the icing on your cake, they provide a pathway for your paintbrush, guiding you as you paint the letters. If you do paint outside of the lines, use a clean paintbrush dipped in a bit of water to gently brush off any smudges of paint, and because the cake has been chilled, you won't damage the icing by doing this. Now just add the finishing touches to your cake! Thanks for watching! For more cake decorating tutorials, check out my channel, British Girl Bakes.